Hey everyone, I'm Julia from Crocoblock and welcome back to our channel. In our previous WooCommerce tutorials, we've made all the templates that will help you to build a top-notch store. Those videos are collected in the separate playlist for your convenience. And in today's tutorial, as a finishing touch, I'd like to show you how to design a WooCommerce mega menu with the help of JetMenu and JetWoo Builder plugins. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. So before we start designing a menu, I'd like to say a few words about JetMenu plugin. What are its functionalities? JetMenu is a perfect instrument for creating a simple menu or building a more complex one and enriching it with different types of content like product categories, contact details, or even templates. Here is how it was implemented in our dynamic template Zaldan. Instead of just a regular menu, you can have a couple of vertical mega menus, products or categories grid widgets or any other widgets of your choice. By the way, if you want to create a menu from scratch, you can check our tutorial on how to set different menu per page with WordPress and Jet plugins. And now I'll show you how to design the same menu. Go to the dashboard, appearance, menus. At first, make sure that Jet menu is enabled for current location. To create mega menu, simply hover on any menu item, let's say woman. Right after you click on the Jet Menu button, a pop-up appears. There are a lot of options to set the menu items. Mega content to set a mega menu position and choose custom menu width. Item icon and item badge to set icon or badge if needed. And in the advanced, there is an opportunity to hide the navigation menu and customize the items padding. The last category is the vertical mega menu to set the width for vertical mega menu widget. Let's go back to mega content. At first enable mega submenu and then click on edit mega menu item content. What I would like to see here is a submenu with product categories and tags for women. First of all, let's add a section and set the content width to boxed. In the Elements panel, search for Vertical Mega Menu widget and drag it to the first column. In the Content tab, you'll see Menu. Here you can select a submenu or to add one, simply click on Menus screen. Once it's saved, you'll be able to select it in the drop-down list. In the Settings, you can change the submenu position and choose an animation type. To style it, let's proceed to the next tab and go straight to Main Menu Items. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of background color and select colors for normal, hover and active states. Change the text in the typography, set padding and margin to 0. That's it here. In the Advanced tab, I'll just add a bottom margin. Let's apply vertical mega menu again. Select a menu, and in my case, it's a second custom submenu. Now, in the next tab, open main menu items and style the widget. As it is a submenu for accessories, I'm gonna add a heading as well. Now, repeating the same steps, you can add as many submenus as you want. What you can also add is some grid. If you haven't worked with grids before, you can watch our tutorial Designing WooCommerce Product Grid. So, let's search for Product Grid widget and drag it to the last column. Select the preset, disable gaps, and enable equal columns height. Now set product number to, let's say, 10. In the Query by, select what products you want to be displayed in this grid. In my case, I need only sale product. A bit below, you can turn off the information you don't need here, like product category, excerpt or rating. Once you are satisfied with the result, open carousel and enable it. Now styling. Under the column, I will add left and right padding and under the product thumbnail, bottom margin. Title. Style the text, set color, alignment left, and bottom margin 2. Price has the same settings. Style the prices and currency sign according to your needs. 
Lastly, we have arrows. Let's place them in the top right corner. Set top indent to minus 32. Horizontal position right, 40 pixels. The next arrow, minus 32 for top and 10 pixels for right indent. Ok, to finish this mega menu, let's add a heading and click Publish. Don't forget to save it. And here is a second example of using Grid, but this time with the help of our free add-on Jet Grid Builder. I will apply Terms Grid Builder widget and select Product Categories. Keep in mind that you need to set thumbnails for this widget. To add them, go to Product Categories, edit the necessary category, and select an image in Thumbnail for Terms Grid Builder. Except for this little step, the plugin is easy to use. You can play with the layout and place the elements literally how you want. Then in the term item, disable post count, divider, and term taxonomy. Style the widget, add a couple of vertical mega menus and you're done. Moreover, instead of Grid Builder, you can use such widgets as Taxonomy Tiles or Categories Grid to achieve the same result. Alright, let's save everything. Finally, I'd like to show you where you can adjust the width of your Mega Menu. By default, it may look something like this, but if you want to make it full width, go to Jet Menu Settings, Desktop Menu, Find Mega Menu Base Width and set it to same as Custom CSS Selector Width. In the Width Selector field, insert Elementor Section Wrap. Let's see what we've got. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Don't forget to check the links in the description box below. As always, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.